Vidheads, here we are, back with another one. This one, I was shooting a fashion show for my niece, where I like to call her my niece. She's really my second cousin. She's my cousin's daughter, right? And so she's such a remarkable young lady, and she's always striving, and she's always doing all kind of things. And so I wanted to support her. Me and my wife was there. So she was having a fashion show in an alley, in Paul Buckham's Alley in Flint, Michigan, downtown. And so I knew it was going to be outside, and I knew it was sunny out. So I'm preparing for sunny day, right? I get there, the alley is narrow, right? And so there's no sun coming in the alley. The whole alley is all shadow but yet you can see the sky. So I'm trying to expose for the sky and the subject. I know from my personal experience, S-Log 3 is a little bit better at preserving highlights and S-Log 2 is a little bit better for preserving the low, the, the, the shadows, right? The low areas, the low light stuff. And so anyway, I said, okay, I'm gonna shoot an S-Log 3 and I'm gonna try to preserve for the highlights and I'll kind of unexpose the subject a little bit and I'll bring it back in post. So anyway, needless to say, I tried to straddle that fence and I failed. I failed royally, but I was able to clean it up a bit and they loved the video and all that. It was a fashion show, so it was great. You guys stay tuned at the end of this and I'll show you that failed fashion show, but the editing made it a little bit more easier to watch, right? So without further ado, let's get into how to fix your underexposed subjects in your footage. So. First off, it was uh, the face. I had light the face up. Then I had a, a light window that did the body. And so this is back to the S-Log 3 that I actually recorded in initially, trying to expose for the sky, but obviously I failed. So I turned back on my color. So once I colored it the way I liked it, I'm, as you see, I made these windows using the ellipse tool. And this is the face ellipse. Um, this is the face ellipse tool that I used. And look very closely because I make sure I rename them so I don't get them confused. I think that's very important because if you don't rename them, then it's easy to get confused which one is which, especially when you're editing and you're trying to move as quickly as you can through the process. So I'm gonna delete those for you. And so I'm gonna recreate. So here we are. We got the color the way we want the color. So now we need to light our subject. And so what I'm gonna do is go down to the effects. I'm gonna look for Lumetri color, right? You can double click it or you can drag and drop it, whichever one, or you can drag and drop it on the clip either way. And so first thing I do is I actually right click and then I name it. And I think I'm gonna name this one light window. That's just my own personal things that I do because when I'm gonna actually put a window on the person or the subject, I call it a light window. So I bring my, hit my eclipse tool and it gives me my eclipse. And so then I stretch it out and put it where I need it. And that is a real key right there. That handle is the feathering handle. That handle is the feathering of the effect that I'm about to apply inside this window. Okay, so then I'm gonna go over to my curves, right? And so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lightning. I'm gonna go up to the highlight part of the curve and it's gonna push up just a little bit, right? So you can see right there in her chest how it lit her up a little bit, which is good. So now I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the frame because what we're gonna do is we're gonna track this. Very easy. Put your eclipse where you wanna start at and then just hit the play button on mass path and then it's just going to track it for you awesome so let's look at our track let's see how well it did awesome that's exactly what we wanted right that's exactly what we want so now we take the window away and we just kind of look at it it's looking good before, after. Now, we're gonna do it again because I wanna light her face up separately. Lumetri color. Then we're gonna rename it, right click, rename it, I'm gonna rename it face. Then I'm gonna put the lips tool again right on her face. I'm gonna scale it where I want. Okay. 
once I kind of got it scaled, main thing is feathering it. I pull that feathering handle and then we feather it. And what I try to do is I try to get it right around the top of the head, top of the forehead, down to the chin, make sure I cover that. But I think I'm going a little bit further into our neck this time. And then I just go up to my curves and I push up just a little bit, just a little bit. You see that? So I'm just trying to fine tune that just a little bit. So now we have for and after and we hit track. And so let's see how well it tracked. Oh, beautiful, beautiful track, beautiful track. See, very painless and easy. All right, so now it's before and after, look at that. It's totally different. Very easy, very simple, and it didn't take that long to make it happen. And so for me, what I do is I'll add just a little bit of red in her face, just because of her skin complexion. I wanted to have a deep chocolatey look. And that's it. I'm looking for another clip that I had to uh, adjust the exposure, the underexposure. I'm gonna speed through these and do the same thing. Try to bring them alive.
no más que eso estamos perdidos, perdidos, perdidos. Sé lo que siento, pero tú no. Nos entendemos haciendo el amor. No hay nada más que eso estamos perdidos, perdidos. Y yo no sé, yo no sé. O si fuiste mi mujer Por lo que yo he visto y lo que te gusta Amor, tú tu vida yo no voy a hacer Dame una noche, te voy a demostrar Que soy yo el pecado que amas cometer Que chica, y si tú quisieras Una sola vez Conmigo hay que ser claro lo que quieres Sexo, nada cariño, solo pretextos Yo estaría fan si lo sabría Y no llenarás de fantasías Ya me dijiste lo que quería No eran besos ni poesía Que chica y si tú quisieras Una sola vez Conmigo hay que ser claro